Um, hi, I'm doing this because I can't find anything on YouTube or on the internet which addresses the question. It must be out there, I just can't see it. Um, it it's a little bit of a question about why was Stalin successful in, um, in, in following on from Lenin uh, and i.e. why was it not Trotsky? All right. The battle was on, as the, as the course notes explain, between the two of them. So Lenin had created this revolution in 1917, which had gone a bit, kind of, a bit all over the place through the Russian Civil War, through his war communism, and then the betrayal of his principles through, um, through the new economic policy, which introduced a, a, a touch of, of capitalism, of markets, to kind of stimulate production and get things going again. Like needs must, you know, you, you've just got to stay in power. So the whole question of whether there was a betrayal on the part of, um, on, on, on the part of Lenin uh, is, is a question that's out there. But really want to concentrate a little bit more on, on Stalin. So Stalin had achieved this, this success of being the, the, the kind of paper shuffler in chief. He, he was the guy responsible as the secretary of the Communist Party and making sure that the Communist Party worked as properly as anything could work in 1920s Russia. Um, he, he, was, he was the admin guru, the, the, the chief paper shuffler. Um, whereas Trotsky was more of a visionary, right? He was, he was practical in the sense that he led the Red Army. He, he was a converted Menshevik, he was a Jew, but he was intellectual, he was clever. He, he was everything that sort of Lenin, if you like, wanted to be. Lenin couldn't do the army stuff and he, 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 couldn't, he couldn't be a bit of an action man. Lenin was more of a kind of a geeky communist uh, revolutionary where, where Trotsky was kind of the, the, the full works. So Stalin had a little bit of envy, I suppose, because of what Trotsky represented. And, and Stalin exploited all of this. So Stalin, uh, post Lenin's death, made sure that the, the will of what Lenin wanted after his death was kept secret. Lenin even, uh, Stalin carried Lenin's casket at the funeral. Um, Stalin made sure that Trotsky wasn't there. There's a bit of doubt on this. Um, and, and, and did Stalin tell Trotsky, oh, mate, that the, the funeral's next Monday, but they had it on Friday just so he couldn't get back in time and make him look bad? I'm not sure really whether that was fully fully the case. It's a fairly disjointed country, Russia at the time. Um, but anyway, the, the, the truth lies in the fact that Stalin's there at the funeral front and center um, and Trotsky isn't. It's just a bad look. Um, certainly the last little bit, Trot Trotsky was not able to surround himself in the same way that Stalin could surround himself with a kind of the main men of the 1917 revolution. Uh, Stalin surrounded himself with Lenin's friends, his influencers, not like hashtag influencers, Instagram thing, but, but more in the kind of influencers of communism. And Stalin could, could happily use them until he didn't need them any longer. And when he didn't need them any longer, we'll see in a couple of weeks what happened to them, but it's, it's not a particularly happy ending um, for, for all of those chaps. Um, and Stalin used them until he needed them no longer. And by the time he needed them no longer, he is well and truly ensconced in power as, as, as Lenin's successor. So Stalin played a clever game socialism in one country forget all your international stuff let's just get it right here and then worry about the rest of the world later he said trotsky was a bit of a dreamer and all that kind of malarkey so it was really important i think that that um that that stalin took advantage of the limit that he enjoyed you know limited intellect um and maximized the opportunities that he had at the right time so a good strategic gameplay by by stalin um over over someone who was miles more clever than he was trotsky um and and just once he'd secured his position he had loyalty to no one and as you'll see we see the next 30 years of, of 30 million deaths so he just went on massacring people distrusting people was aware of all the kind of trail of lies he'd left behind him but with a simple task he said i've got to modernize this country i've got to get russia up and running and ready to compete against other countries around the world and the proof of the pudding as they say is in the eating and in world war ii 
Russia survived. It, it, it survived the attack by Germany and it became uh, a key player on the international stage of the second half of the 20th, 20th century. So Stalin's success, yeah, Russia never got invaded, but at what cost? But initially, we've just looked here at why he succeeded in taking over from, from Lenin in that kind of early to mid 1920s, the critical point after Lenin's strokes. All right, hope that helps.